Now it's time for our cabin inspection, but this time we're looking for the best kept cabin here at camp. Nothing is more impressive than campers taking responsibility and cleaning their cabins. To tell you the truth, we were not expecting any kind of cleanliness like this. Good job, 8th and 9th grade boys. I'm in the Woodsview cabin, and what is thought to be Mr. Brian Jarrett's bed doing our cabin inspections. We just came from the uh, Frontier Camp, 8th and 9th grade boys, and theirs was very, very clean. This one is, uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. Um, it looks like Mr. Brian is probably the neatest person in this cabin. So we're here in the 4th uh, and 5th grade boys cabin, and it's a little worse than Woods for you. I don't know. Uh, it's not too bad. What do you say? What, what kind of a rating? I give about 4, 4.30, maybe 5 o'clock. 5 o'clock, 4.35 o'clock. I agree, about 4.35 o'clock. Uh, over here is something interesting actually. So what we have here is uh, one of the campers here in Acorn has an airhead wrapper collection. Come take a closer look. He has White Mystery, Green Apple, my personal favorite. Oh, wait, he threw a fruit roll up in there. Uh, we also have a watermelon uh, and some nasty double bubble. Another green apple. Good Somebody's man. Somebody's a green apple Good fan. <laughs> Sour green apple's even better. Well, over here, I believe, is where David Collins sleeps. Well, this is Mr. David Collins' bed. Pretty clean, pretty clean. And next to the back door, late night sneak-ins, Mr. David. <laughs> well, uh, the, one of the most interesting things about Mr. David's uh, bunk is his t-shirt collection. This man must have a thousand church camp t-shirts. And last but not least, my first year of camp, only God can make a tree, Bible Camp 99. Now I got a question for you, Will. What's that? Mr. David's real good at keeping all these schedules, right? Mm hmm Wouldn't you think that he could put those in the order of the years it happened? Yeah, you would think so. Those were all out of order. My goodness, Mr. David. And he had two of one. I see a little bit of mutiny in it. Hmm. More on this later. Probably not, but, you know, it sounded good, right? And he lays in my ears and in my eyes. Today on the Nightly News Dear News segment, I have received four questions about getting new suspenders. Where do you guys want me to get new suspenders? We're at church camp. The hollow tree doesn't sell suspenders. Get over it. Black is all I have. Your turn. Next question. Dear Nightly News, have you ever seen a hobo? As a matter of fact, I have seen a hobo. TNN, hey, will you guys sing my favorite song, Mary Had a Little Lamb? Of course we'll sing your song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Mary had a little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. Next question. Nightly News. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? You know what? I like eating them both. Dear Nightly News, from Tongue Twister, I want you to race yourself. Well, Tongue Twister, you're in for a treat. Today, on your mark, get set, go! Next 
next question. First, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? You guys are great and all, but I think you should put Tyler Quinn in. The news will be really take off. Thanks, Sean. Well, Sean, let me tell you something. We do a lot of work here in this new studio, and I don't really appreciate you trying to get all over our back saying that we're not good. And secondly, I think it would only take one lick to the center of a Tootsie Pop if you bite really hard. Everybody knows it's three. Haven't you seen the commercial? One, two, three. But what about the dragon? Okay. He just breathed win. fire on it and it was gone. You win. TNN. Hey, Will. Are you a natural blonde? Yes, I'm a natural blonde. Do I look like a girl to you? Next question. How did y'all get so funny? That's a really good question. It all started one day in a circus. We were at this circus. And in this circus, there was an elephant circus. And in this elephant circus, there was a circus of clowns. And in this clown circus, there was a clown teacher. And in this clown teacher, it was me. Mm -hmm. TNN, hey Will, are you trying to be cool in suspenders? Duh. Next. Will I am. I've heard a lot about the plunger game. What is it? Well, I'll tell you what it is. All right, so one night at church camp, <laughs> me and Taylor Cummins and Luke and Jared and Wade and Austin Allen and Taylor Groves played the plunger game. And if you said something stupid, then you got smacked in the plunger. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Next question. Peanut butter is awesome. Oh, and hi. I'm not really sure if that's a question or not. But you know what? Peanut butter is awesome. Just peanut this butter. morning, I was making peanut these butter. pancakes, peanut and I put butter. peanut butter chips in them, and it was awesome. It gave me an awesome stomach ache, too, but I loved it. It was amazing. I love peanut butter. Nightly news. Please pop your suspenders. Next question. Dear Nightly News, I am trying to impress this cannon, and I need help. Guess what, mystery? We can help you. So we finally caught up with the man. What's your name, sir? Cannon Mac Daddy West. Cannon the Mac Daddy West. Cannon, are you single? Yeah. What do you look for in a woman, like, uh, when it comes to age, what do you look for? I like the older women, 98 years old, but looks 30. Hmm. Nice choice. Don't blame uh, me. In, in stature, physical stature, how do you like your women? Swedish bodybuilders. Swedish oh, bodybuilders. So you like the Swedish, huh? Ah, the Swedish bodybuilders. Swedish bodybuilders. All right, and w what about eyes and hair? Do you have any preference there? I love the green hair and orange snake eyes. Green hair and orange snake eyes. And do you have anything to say to the ladies? Call me. Wink. 